A family's in shock tonight as their loved one becomes one of Louisville's latest homicides. The shooting happened last night on Wapham Avenue in the Beachmont neighborhood, just one of six weekend homicides in the metro. WLKY's Drew Gardner spoke with the victim's brother. He joins us now live in the newsroom. Drew? Well, Vicki, Jesse Reynolds was shot around 8 o'clock last night outside of the home where his grandmother lived for many years. His brother says Reynolds was well known and well liked in the neighborhood and making sense of this has been nearly impossible for the family. He was a role model to me. A huge one. For Dylan Reynolds, the reality of talking about his older brother Jesse in the past tense has not yet set in. He was a tattoo artist. He actually did multiple tattoos on me. It was just over 24 hours ago that his other brother, Tyler, called him with the news he never expected. Um, he called me when I was at home and told me that he got shot. And uh, I called my mom and let her know. And me and her rushed to the hospital downtown at Uville. Jesse was rushed into surgery but died a short time later. They tried all they could to try to help him, but they couldn't. It did too much damage. According to Dylan, Jesse was on Wampum Avenue outside the Beachmont home where his grandmother lived for years and his aunt Brenda now lives. Then sometime around eight o'clock, shots were fired. Brenda ran outside and held his hand while the paramedics and everything were getting there. While the cops got there, the cops pushed her back so they could treat him and everything, but she was the last one to be with him. 51-year-old Larence Spaulding was arrested Monday morning and charged with Jesse's murder. Dylan says Jesse had a lot of friends in the neighborhood, and Spaulding was not one he recognized, but his aunt did. We, uh, during every holiday, we throw a huge like family get-together, and that guy came down there hungry and everything, and our family provided to him. Dylan is now struggling to understand what would have led him to kill his brother. He's the type of guy that would give everything to make somebody just a little happier than him. Now they're working to make sure he gets the funeral he deserves, but money is tight. He said he always wanted to be buried in a cemetery and it's just, we're trying to find a place that's reasonably affordable, but it's like every place, it's, it's too much. Now the family has started a GoFundMe page to raise funds to help pay for these unexpected funeral expenses. If you're interested in helping, we have a link to it inside the story on our website and free mobile app. As for the suspect, Laren Spaulding, he's been charged with murder and possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. Live in the newsroom tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you.